Hello everyone, I'm super happy to announce a new partnership once again between RPG Builder and another asset store publisher. In this case, as you can see on my screen, it's Titanforge who is, you know, creating some very, very nice uh, low poly 3D assets. Before I start showing you some of his packs, I'm going to go um, straight in game and uh, show you what he provided us with. So I contacted him, uh, telling him that I needed some crafting stations as well as resource nodes. This will be used for the demo um, prototype game that will come with RPG Builder, but you'll be able as a RPG Builder user to use those in your game. And if you like those, I highly encourage you to check his full packs because um, what you see here is a very small sample of what he's actually uh, offering you. So we have two resource nodes here of uh, type ores, two plants and two crafting station, as you can see here. I actually already implemented them in the game. It's very quick. There is a video about that. Um, so let's, you know, gather them. And as you can see, once uh, the resource node is on uh, cooldown, the resource is gone. Let me um, pick that up again. You see, we can get some actual items and stuff. But you see here, now the orange uh, metal is gone. So this is a cool feature of RPG Builder. You know, it's very easy to set up. Um, just watch the video. But it's cool to see um, and his assets are ready for this kind of thing. So that's perfect. Same for the plants. You see that the red flowers are now gone. And same for the blue um, flowers. Let's get some of our loot. Pretty cool. And then we have those two crafting stations. So one anvil and a furnace. The anvil, you know, just basic crafting station. But um, in my setup right now of RPG Builder, the um, anvil does not have any um, crafting recipe linked to it. But the um, furnace does. So pretty cool i mean um, you know very uh, uh, useful crafting session this is going to be in the demo for sure um and it's perfect because without him i would just have been using some kind of cubes or whatever but now we have some actually good looking assets to use so that's perfect let's take a look at his packs i'm going to go over um most of them the weapons one are uh, pretty cool also so the alchemy one let's go full screen so most of his packs have a lot of different objects and prefab in them as you can see right here it's not just some kind of potion and stuff this can populate many different rooms without having them you know looking similar you have some potions some props this is what i like if we go to the jewel crafting one for example um and you look at this look at the amount of uh small objects and stuff uh, some of the packs are more for you know bigger props uh, but jewel crafting and alchemy are for smaller things and i think it's pretty cool the mining one has a lot of image but um as you can see some of the ores we got from them i think these ones are looking super cool i like the style smaller one bigger one different size different colors and so on. i'm not gonna go over them all i'm going to um leave you some surprise when you go check his page but look at this this is good, doing a good overview of um this pack uh, i think there are more of more things included in that but this is you know showing you most of the stuff and it's a lot and there are also some tools this seems like another version so this time it's more with like some kind of unrealistic colors maybe red blue green and stuff like that this is showing you know some rocks and this is showing the empty version as well as showing you that you can either use flat or gold I'm not gonna spend too much time on each pack, but it's just to give you an idea of what you uh, get. Herbalism pack, so we got some plants from that. Once again, a lot of uh, options and choices. And the weapon one, um, it's a pretty cool pack also, honestly, to get you started with some weapons. And um, the cool thing is he made it with different materials. So you have iron and stone and stuff like that. But my favorite one personally is um, the blacksmithing one because this is giving you so many things. It also seems that, like it has some kind of emissive materials, which I really like. Um, but yeah, once again, uh, giving you a good overview of what this pack contains some bars, some tools, some chimney, stuff like that. Anvil, of course, furnace, some bars, once again, tools, even some props. Pretty cool. 
and it's yeah um i thought i saw some weapon before so also cool i mean everything you can take right you take it but this i can already see myself you know populating some kind of uh blacksmithing area and stuff like that with this so very cool uh the link to his asset store publisher page is going to be in the comments as well as the description from now on so definitely check him out tell him thank you if you see him on discord or something about the partnership um i'm grateful so thanks again to you titan forge and uh thank you for watching everyone and see you in the next video